Have you ever driven past a construction site and noticed how quickly some buildings seem to rise? Almost like they were snapped together like giant Lego pieces? That's no accident. It's a sign of a growing shift in the construction world. The rise of prefabricated building materials is changing how we think about architecture, construction, and even housing affordability. Let's explore why it's gaining global momentum right here on History of Simple Things. To really understand the rise of prefab materials, we need to go back a bit. Traditional construction has always followed a very linear process. First, you lay the foundation, then you build up, brick by brick, beam by beam, until the project is done. It's a long, labor-intensive method that hasn't changed much for centuries. But over time, people started asking, isn't there a faster, more efficient way to do this? That's where prefabrication comes in. Prefabrication isn't exactly new. In fact, it has roots dating back to the early 20th century. After World War II, for instance, prefab housing became popular in many countries to quickly accommodate displaced families and returning soldiers. At the time, the technology was basic mostly wooden panels or steel frames mass-produced and shipped to different sites. Prefab homes were often seen as cheap, unattractive, and temporary. That image stuck for a long time. Fast forward to today, and the story is very different. Thanks to advancements in design, engineering, and material science, prefabricated structures have undergone a total makeover no longer are they the dull, boxy structures of the past. Today's prefab buildings are smart, stylish, and built to last. And perhaps most importantly, they're incredibly efficient. From skyscrapers to tiny homes, prefabricated materials are making construction faster, cleaner, and more sustainable. So what exactly are prefabricated materials? In simple terms, these are parts of a building that are made off-site, usually in a factory setting. They can be entire walls, floors, roofing systems, or even complete room modules with plumbing and wiring already installed. Once they're ready, they're transported to the building site and assembled like puzzle pieces. It's like baking a cake using pre-measured ingredients. The guesswork is removed. Everything is done in a controlled environment, minimizing waste and delays caused by weather or on-site issues. This method is known as modular construction, and it's become one of the most exciting innovations in the industry. A great example of this is a 57-story skyscraper in China that was built in just 19 days using prefabricated modules. That's right, 19 days. It's not magic. It's precision planning, advanced materials, and a whole lot of coordination. Prefab allows multiple processes to happen at once, foundation work on site while modules are built in a factory. Beyond speed and cost, one of the biggest driving forces behind the rise of prefabricated materials is sustainability. Construction is one of the most resource-intensive industries on the planet. It contributes significantly to global waste and carbon emissions. Prefabrication helps tackle that problem head-on. Because components are made in a factory setting, there's better control over resource usage. Some companies even use recycled or renewable materials in the prefab process, like cross-laminated timber or recycled steel, making the final product even greener. Architects and engineers also love working with prefab materials because they allow for more experimentation. And let's not forget the digital side of things. 3D modeling and building information modeling, BIM, are making prefab designs smarter than ever. Another key benefit, 
accessibility and disaster response. Prefab materials have proven to be lifesavers, literally, in places hit by natural disasters or housing shortages. Because these structures can be built and shipped quickly, they provide immediate relief and long-term shelter to communities in crisis. They're also ideal for remote areas where traditional construction may be difficult or impossible due to terrain or lack of infrastructure. Now let's talk about luxury, because yes, prefab has reached the high end too. Modern prefab homes are now competing with traditional high-end properties in terms of both design and comfort. From eco-cabins in the forest to sleek urban townhomes, prefab materials are proving they're not just about efficiency, they can be beautiful too. In fact, some of the world's most cutting-edge architects are choosing prefab methods to bring their futuristic visions to life, and the numbers don't lie. The global prefab construction market is booming. It's expected to reach hundreds of billions of dollars in value over the next decade. More investors, developers, and governments are recognizing the benefits, not just in time and cost, but in the ability to scale projects quickly and meet growing urban demand. As urban populations grow, cities are under pressure to provide housing faster and smarter. Prefabricated materials offer a compelling solution some fear automation and prefabrication could replace traditional construction jobs. But the reality is more nuanced. While certain manual tasks may be reduced, there's a growing demand for skilled labor in factory settings. Welders, machinists, designers, quality control specialists. Prefab construction also tends to be safer. Since much of the risky work, like working at great heights, is done in controlled environments. That's a win-win for workers and project managers alike. In the end, the rise of prefabricated building materials isn't just a trend, it's a transformation. It's about building smarter, faster, and greener. It's about giving more people access to quality homes. It's about merging technology with tradition to create a better way forward. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.